Hey Swarmers, welcome back to The Hive. We hope you're staying safe out there while remaining actively engaged. There is a lot going on. There is so much to learn and most importantly, there is so much to do for the sake of our planet and her hurting inhabitants. Let's talk about it. In 2015, the Sustainable Development Goals were adopted by the 193 United Nations member states with the landmark 2030 Agenda. These goals are a universal call to action by all countries, rich, poor, and middle income, to end poverty, protect the planet, and ensure that every human being enjoys peace and prosperity by 2030. They recognize the importance of justice and strong institutions in alignment with these goals in order to achieve them. They acknowledge that action in one area will affect outcomes in others, and that development must balance social, economic, and environmental sustainability in order to be just, effective, and enduring. The Sustainable Development Goals incorporate strategies to build economic growth and address a range of social needs, including education, health, social protection, and job opportunities, while tackling climate change and environmental protection. We cannot possibly take on the global issues of sustainable development while living in societies of fear, discrimination, and violence. How can a person be asked to fight for issues outside themselves if their every day comes with constant fear for their own lives? No one should be navigating the prioritization of our planet's well-being versus that of our fellow human beings. Peacefully evolved societies and justly functioning, inclusive systems are essential to provide the headspace to even begin to think globally. And in order to get there, lots of changes need to be made. These 17 goals, which include the Paris Climate Agreement, are a roadmap for creating a sustainable future for all life on Earth. Please never believe for a moment that a country's relative wealth excuses it from issues of justice, because in fact, it is quite the opposite for countries like the United States, where its GDP directly relates to its broken systems and urgent need for change. This has been most recently demonstrated by the massive Black Lives Matter protests emerging in cities all across the country, and now the globe, starting with the demand for justice for George Floyd in response to his killing by four police officers. Let's talk about that urgent need for change. The targets for sustainable development goal number 16, peace, justice, and strong institution include reducing all forms of violence and related death rates everywhere, ending abuse, exploitation, trafficking, and all forms of violence against and torture of children promoting the rule of law at the national and international levels, and ensuring equal access to justice for all, reducing illicit financial and arms flows, strengthening the recovery and return of stolen assets, and combating all forms of organized crime, reducing corruption and bribery in all their forms, developing effective, accountable, and transparent institutions at all levels, ensuring responsive, inclusive, participatory, and representative decision-making at all levels, broadening and strengthening the participation of developing countries in the institutions of global governance, providing legal identity for all, including birth registration, and ensuring public access to information and protecting fundamental freedoms in accordance with national legislation and international agreements. The United Nations calls the 2030 Agenda and the Sustainable Development Goals the Plan of Action for People, Planet, and Prosperity, together. Unfortunately, it's true that this plan with its list of 17 goals seems ambitious in today's world. One might ask, 
How can we possibly work together as a global force when our home countries are facing their own internal struggles and turmoil? How can we come together globally when we speak different languages, believe in different things? How can we work together toward these crucial common goals when we are all so different? By focusing on what unites us. We are all human. We all deserve our right to the basic human experience. We want to survive. We want to thrive. We want food and clean water. We want shelter. We want to feel safe, to be protected, loved, and supported. We want to take up space in our society, to do our work, to use our voices, to live our lives freely, without fear or oppression. We want our future generations to have these things when we are gone. We want to be happy. That is what the 2030 Agenda and the Sustainable Development Goals are about. What makes us human and how we can build a future in the world with care and compassion for each other and care and compassion for the earth, which we all share and on which we all live. So what can you do? Participate in your community. Do your research and vote for leaders who believe in a sustainable world and who are willing to fight for it alongside you. Your vote matters. Take action. Call out discrimination when you see it. Speak up in real life and on social media. Donate to collectives and organizations fighting for justice. Call and write to your government officials, holding them accountable to the basic, necessary standards you are fighting for. Have those difficult conversations with yourself and with your loved ones. Show up, however it is that you can. In order to achieve those 17 goals, to achieve justice for all, we need to listen to and to support the communities who are hurting the most because their lives matter. It is our duty to get involved, as it has been all along. Thank you for joining us, Swarmers. We are in this together. See you next time.